Day 6 of 30 Days of Calm. I think it's been going pretty well so far. Last night in my head I just kind of sat with thoughts and realised how futile so much of the noise in the head is. Got a little bit spooky actually, but I've been there before. I'm hoping to kind of instill that into my present day living as part of this 30 days. We'll see how that goes. Meditation time. Many of us feel like we're living in public more than ever. Come back to the room. Day six of 30 days of calm. Today's topic was interruptions. Considering a lot about them like social media, how perhaps we interrupt moments like a beautiful sunset, a fantastic meal, in order to share that. The interruption process can really take away from the value of the moment, and I know that, I'm sure we all do. Uh, a photograph of a lovely scenery. I used to think, I used to be super anti the whole thing, and I'd see people taking pictures of this situation that I was just taking in and be like, Ah, you've got to just take it in. Now, of course, I'm using social media all the time, so I'm getting the other end of it. I think the ideal behind meditation is to awaken the part of yourself that you were when you were a child. I had a, I had a recollection last night of when I was at my auntie's house playing in the garden with my cousin and I don't know how old I've been maybe four or five years old very young because the memories are not like memories of yesterday or last week the memories are very pure there's not a lot around them but what I really do focus on in those memories is that sense of there neither being a past or a future it was very present moment and I wonder sometimes when I consider things like, you know, mortality, the ever ticking hand of time, and how fickle thoughts are supposed to be when it's so easy to get caught up in a, a story constructed by and narrated by thoughts and memory. When you start to observe the mind and its functioning, it becomes almost a shame that it's hard to get back to that childlike state because in that childlike state you weren't born because you had no memory of it and the memory didn't come into it. I could have a long life story with a career and family and friends and achievements and stories and loads of interwoven situations that, that all account for my life but at that same time I could have a heart attack now while on this camera I could walk out and be hit by a bus and it all end like that fighting against death and fighting against illness we can quite easily forget how close we are to it and take it for granted and therefore, I think we kind of lose ourselves in that make-believe world. My story, whereas at the core of it all, when I was that child playing in my auntie's garden, I was none of those things. I was just playing in my auntie's garden. And it's as simple as that. I'm closer to nothing than I am something. And I think the recollection of me playing in my auntie's garden is kind of a nice memory of me living that natural state. Since then it's maybe been covered by years worth of story and script. I think what I'm seeing is that it is just story and script. As crazy as that sounds. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Much love. I'll see you tomorrow.